Hello, Marty Donovan here for another Mastering the Marketplace video. When you enroll in a new partner program in Partner Center or change legal details in your profile, Microsoft verifies the information that you provide. This video provides an overview of account verification in Partner Center and guidance on how to resolve any issues that arise with account verification. Let's take a look at what we will cover in this module. We will introduce account verification and the different types of account verification. We will cover how you can check your account verification status in Partner Center. We will cover what to do if your account verification shows as rejected in Partner Center. We will cover common issues that you may experience along with how to resolve them. Now we start with an introduction to account verification. This section explains what we mean by account verification along with the different types of verification. Now we will introduce account verification. Account verification is Microsoft verifying the information that you provide, such as your company name, company address, and primary contact details. Enrollment in a new program in Partner Center or changing the legal details in your profile leads to account verification. Partner Center programs include the Microsoft AI Cloud Partner Program, the Cloud Solution Provider Program or Reseller Program, and developer programs which include the Commercial Marketplace, Windows, Xbox, Microsoft 365, and Copilot, and so on. It's very important to complete account verification. Account verification needs to be complete so you can perform activities such as renewing existing offers in the Microsoft AI Cloud Partner Program or publishing offers to the Commercial Marketplace. Verification usually takes three to five business days. If more than five days have passed, you can contact support for assistance. Next, we cover the types of account verification. There are multiple things that get verified as part of account verification that we will cover now. Email ownership verifies that the primary contact's primary email address is valid. The primary contact email address must be a work account that is monitored and can send and receive email. Do not use a personal email address. Identity verification confirms the identity of at least one user on the account. The identity is verified by trusted third-party ID verification vendors. Employment verification confirms your primary contact is an employee of the enrolling company and that the company owns the domain of the email address provided. Business verification confirms that the enrolling company is a legitimate business entity and at the stated address. Microsoft runs on trust. In order to ensure trustworthiness in its partner ecosystem, Microsoft might conduct additional background checks on your organization. If your organization is selected for additional due diligence, your profile page will display the status accordingly. Now I cover checking account verification status. This section lists the steps for checking your account verification status and explains the possible results of account verification. Now we start with showing you the steps for checking your verification status. These are the steps you follow in Partner Center to get to the Account Settings Legal Info page, which is where you see your account verification status. Now we go over the Account Settings Legal Info page in more detail. Here is an example of a view in the Account Settings Legal Info page in Partner Center. Across the top, you see the partner programs in which your organization is enrolled. Here you see tabs for partner and for reseller. If you were enrolled in the commercial marketplace, you would also see a tab for the developer program. For each program, you can see your verification status. The verification status can be accepted, pending, or rejected. Accepted means the information you submitted was verified and you're accepted into the program. Pending means the verification process has started but isn't complete. You can monitor your verification status on this page. Rejected means information you submitted couldn't be verified. We'll cover how to find out why along with how to appeal the decision later in this video. In this example, you can see your verification status for the reseller program is rejected. Now for a demo. In this demo, we will cover how to check your account verification status in Partner Center. In Partner Center, you go to the gear in the upper right, you click on the gear, and you click on Account Settings. After you click on Account Settings, 
click on Legal Info. Doing this will take you to your Account Settings Legal Info page. If you click on the Reseller Partner Program, you'll see right here that it shows the account verification status is showing as authorized. That means you've passed account verification. Now I have a second demo for you. In this demo, we will walk through the steps for email ownership verification. Hello, everybody. I just signed up for the Microsoft Partner Program. Now I'm going to go into Partner Center and see the status of account verification for that program. I do this by going up to the gear in the upper right hand corner in Partner Center. I click on the gear and then I click Account Settings. After I click on Account Settings, under Organizational Profile, I click Legal Info on the left. After I click Legal Info, it shows that for the partner program, I'm currently at the email ownership verification step in the account verification process. It looks like a verification email was sent to my email address to verify. I switched over to my email and I received the following email asking me to verify my email address. I click on the verify email address link and after doing that, it takes me into Partner Center. You'll see now my email has been successfully verified. After verifying the email address, I'm going to go back into Account Settings and check on my account verification status. If I click on the gear and I click on Account Settings, then I click on Legal Info. You'll see now I passed email ownership, but now I need to verify my identity. Now we transition from that demo to a new topic. In this section, we will demo how to appeal a rejected application. In this demo, we will cover using Fix Now to appeal a rejected employment verification. Okay, to start off this demo, we'll go in the upper right hand corner and we'll click the gear. Then we'll click on account settings. Then we, on the left, we click on legal info. Then you'll notice on the legal business profile for the partner program that we failed employment verification. You can appeal the rejected application by clicking Fix Now. Then notice at the top of the account verification pane, it says the rejection reason was that we were not able to verify your business details. Then it provides a list of documents you can provide to verify your association with the organization, which you can upload through the account verification pane. Now I will demo this experience by uploading one of the documents requested. Now check this feature out, this is really cool. When I upload the document, the AI-assisted account verification does two things. First, it gives you the likelihood of the document passing which you submitted for account verification. Second, it lists the issues found in the document. For this demonstration, I'm using a fake document which is why it shows a low chance of authorization. In your case, you would be using a real document, so your chances of authorization would be much higher. Now I'll finish showing the steps for the appeal process. After uploading the document, next you would click Submit. The amount of time required to review an appeal varies. You can return to Account Settings Legal Info page to check your verification status at any time. Verification status will show as pending during the review process. Next, we cover common account verification issues. In this section, we will cover common account verification issues with suggestions on how to resolve them. Now we start with email owner verification. 
The primary contact email address must be a work account that is monitored and can send and receive email. Do not use a personal email address not associated with the company domain and avoid using a tenant user credential not associated with email. If you don't receive the email ownership verification email message within one business day, you can ask us to send the email again. You do this by going to your profile page for MPN, CSP or developer and selecting resend verification email. Be sure to flag email from Microsoft.com as a safe domain and check your junk email folders. Identity verification can either be in a past, rejected, or a challenge state. If identity verification is in a challenge state, then at least one user on the account needs to present verifiable credentials to prove their identity. Ensure that the user details on the account match the details on a supporting government-issued ID document provided to obtain the verifiable credentials. If there's a mismatch, either update the first and last name in the tenant or use a government-issued ID document with matching details. If there are issues with obtaining the verifiable credentials, refer to the help provided in the Learn More link on the page. Now to the next issue. If identity verification is rejected and you don't see a Fix Now button, there's no further action required and the account will be suspended. Now to the next issue. If employment verification is rejected, the primary contact, normally your global or account admin, must provide documentation confirming the contact's email domain is under the ownership of their employer. For further assistance, go to your profile page for MPN, CSP, or developer to upload more proofs through the account verification pane. Now to close this out. After watching this module, a partner should understand account verification and partner center and know how to resolve common issues that arise with account verification. Thank you for joining us for another video from Mastering the Marketplace the learning library where technologists go to get their offer on the Microsoft Marketplace. For more videos, hands-on labs, and sample code, find us at aka.ms slash mastering the marketplace.